Hi, I'm Harrison Marsh, and today I want to talk about capos. The first thing to say, like we've said about other guitar accessories, is don't be tempted to buy the cheapest. Uh, cheap capos don't intonate well, which means your guitar will sound out of tune, and they slip, and they're just going to cause problems and headaches. The first capo that I always recommend to people is the Jim Dunlop uh, spring style. Uh, some of the copies of this design aren't quite as good. Um, Kaiser makes some great capos in a similar sort of... Uh, style to, to the Dunlop ones, uh, but they work really well, they internet really well, uh, mine's been uh, being used for, for years reliably. Next up are the Shub Capos uh, with this kind of spring heel design. Uh, they're great for certain guitars, uh, particularly with acoustic guitars with quite uh, thick chunky necks, um, it means you can take a little bit of the tension off so the capos don't feel as tight. Um, they do versions for 12 string guitars that I found really reliable and even better for me because uh, I'm a fan of alternate tunings and experimenting with acoustic guitars they do three and five string partial capo uh, versions in the same design that I use as my main partial capos um, so I, I think they're great highly recommended if you haven't played around with partial capos before and you're into instrumental acoustic and finger style guitar um, guys like Gordon Giltrap um, it, it's it's can be really really good fun experimenting with partial capos. Moving on in the same vein then is the third hand capo uh, that really takes the partial capo idea uh, to a whole nother level because the material goes around the neck and then the rubber discs move on the pin which means that you can hold down any combination of any strings. Um, these things are great. You need to use them for a month or two so you stretch out the material for a bit so it feels tight when they're brand new uh, and then you sort of break them in a little bit and they, they're a lot easier to take on and off. Um, if I need a regular capo to hold all six strings, I still use one of the other capos uh, in this video because these are a little bit fiddly, uh, but quite often I'll use my third hand capo as quite a, a creative tool. Um, in conjunction with another capo, so I might have the third hand at maybe fifth fret and my regular capo on the second or the third fret. Uh, but as I say, a really fun um, capo, but probably not the first capo that you own. In exactly the same vein to that, in as much as uh, if you're only going to buy one capo, it's probably going to be something that holds all six strings in a similar way to the Shub or the Jim Dunlop, um, is the roller capo. Uh, I spent weeks and months trying to arrange pieces in a way that I could use this to move my capo position halfway th uh, through a piece. In truth, it didn't work. Um, I could never get it fast enough on any of my guitars um, to get the result I wanted. But if you were moving between different capo positions between different songs, um, it intonates well and it's relatively easy to slide it between uh, different uh, fret positions. So it's a great capo. And finally we move to the G7. Uh, these things are absolutely amazing. The list of artists that you see using them is extensive um, and if I could only have one capo for the rest of my life it would be from G7. Uh, it intonates really well, it's a really solid piece of kit that's never let me down uh, and as we've said before if it broke or I lost it tomorrow I would absolutely have to replace it. Uh, so that's the cap I, I recommend to all of my students. Um, I hope that's been helpful. I know that there are other capos, such as the spider capo, that I've left out of this video. Um, if you have any questions about capos, please leave them in the comments box below, and I'll put links to all of my capos in the uh, description of this video. If that's been helpful, please look out for other videos we make in the future. Thanks for watching.